Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your stud showing and we're going to go over some of the updates I'm doing to my Lego city. Um, sorry, I've been absent for probably over a year on YouTube, uh, almost a year on Instagram. Just been doing a lot of other stuff and finally got back into Lego. Uh, this apartment complex right here with the storage on the bottom hasn't really changed too much. Been adding a little here and there, but slowly growing got my i love idaho sign one of my favorite parts to it so biggest change is this street and this addition over here and also the addition way over there to my lego table so as you're going in you can see where the train track used to go just straight ahead and then turned and this was all open and you could walk all the way to the end and look down the street but i found out that i don't really look down that street nor is there too much to see and this is a lot of wasted space, so I can tee it off on each side and gain some extra real estate. So, just added a little corner piece, and I originally I was going to have the track go up, S-turn right there, and then loop around back and hide away in behind the buildings. But I found out that this is a lot of good real estate. And if I could create something where I could keep this open, that'd be great. So I just... Connected the track right here, and uh, I'm going to build a bridge. So what's cool about this bridge is that it's a truss bridge, but it's under the train track. So I did a little bit of research looking up train bridges, and a lot of them went up and over. But a few actually had truss bridges underneath, where it was just a double truss all the way through, adding rigidity. And that's kind of what I wanted to go with here to keep your eyes focused on the buildings and the backdrop. I found if you add trusses or big objects, your eyes go to that and you miss the buildings and kind of the city lifestyle. So I want to keep it real low profile, but still needed a bridge to tie in the train track. You can see here I'm just building it with Technic pieces. I got more on order. Um, I'll actually probably screw into the wood here and uh, use some of these pieces down here. Just screw through those holes into the wood and that'll be my attachment point so it's not totally floating. Not sure if that's legal or not, but got to fix a bridge foundation somehow. Okay, so down the street, right there in the brown building, that's going to be a bar um, right next to it. Let's see if I can get close for you guys. So you can see some of the window detail. I really like this side of it. Right next to it is a gun store and an apartment or a barber shop up top. Haven't really decided yet. Uh, this is a creator set. That was modified, the little sushi restaurant. And just used the pieces I had and expanded where I could. Um, little Zen garden, Japanese garden with a bonsai tree next to it. On top is a vet shop with the, I believe it was from the corner garage that had the vet um, window that I'm using it out of. No snakes. And inside is fully detailed as a vet shop. So really want to bring the pieces I had from the corner garage back and use it in another set because I really like that window. And uh, spent some time in Japan. So wanted the sushi place. And uh, with some of the dark humor of their culture with the dogs, I uh, thought the vet shop would be perfect over the sushi shop. So, a little bit of dark humor if you spend some time in Asian culture. It is what it is. Uh, use the Japanese kind of structure right there with the bonsai tree. And from here, that road plate over is all going to be new. So, decided to run a little white Christian church. Um, I say little, it's turning out a little bigger than I thought. But it will be good and fit a lot of people. So something different, um, and it's a good break from building into uh, freestanding structures uh, over next to it. You got the town hall, which I just kind of placed in to see how it would look. 
Um, still haven't found a place for it. Don't know if it's ever going to come back in my city, but I am using the tower from it. So stole that off the top. And as a placeholder, it's not too bad. I'm just not a fan. Over here, I'm going to build a construction site uh, with some of my construction vehicles. You can see I got a D9 dozer. Right here, I built this years ago and just never had a spot to put it in. Uh, pump truck and cement mixer and some other stuff. So construction site's probably not going to have a tower crane. Like I said, I want to keep everything here pretty low so it'll be the ground floor of a construction site uh, just so you can see the background and the church and it's actually going to take this spot as a theater which I'm currently building over there. So I'll walk you around and we'll go over there. Um, if you remember, my train tracks went around and over the skate park. It's now changed. I'm going to do two bridges, one over there and one over there, and we're just going to loop the train track around. Uh, they'll just lift up out of the way, so condense the skate park, cleaned it up a little bit. Makes it look a little better and family friendly. Uh, right here is just another placeholder building. Uh, it's actually a plumber shop, fully detailed inside. Haven't figured out what I'm doing with this building yet. I'm actually probably going to put a work of art here. Uh, just a big statue or something for the Lego people. It'll be kitty corner to the train shop and kind of downtown. And hopefully it'll look nice. So let's go over here. This is the other part I added on to my table. Again, for the same reasoning, it's kind of over at the end. You... Don't really need to stand all the way at the end. Um, there's nothing behind these buildings worth looking at. So figured I could fit the 15 by 15 base plate in and run my tow yard. It's gonna have a little tow shack. And here is the theater that I was building over here that I couldn't figure out what I want to do with, but wasn't too happy with the size, wasn't too happy with the look, and wasn't too happy I couldn't make it blue because I got a blue building right here, um, the Lego pet shop. So now this is going to go over by the white church over there, and I'll figure out what I'm going to do here. If you have suggestions of what I should do here, leave them down in the comments. That'd be super helpful. But um, So this will probably go to townhomes, I'm guessing. And over here is my tow yard with my tow trucks. Kind of cool, has a sliding gate that I gotta finish. I don't think I have all the slides on it, but it has a sliding gate, a few tow vehicles. You can see a few tow trucks out. My crane's over here, and right here is gonna be a, the tow shack. So it's really simple. Uh, broken down car kind of hidden back there, maybe abandoned by the tow company. Someone picked it up and they didn't wanna scrap it. But that's some of my updates for my Lego City. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you liked, leave a like. If you want to leave a comment, suggestions of what I should change or any ideas, leave a comment. And uh, if you like so much and want to see me probably post again next year or whenever I feel like it, uh, subscribe and you'll be updated to my city post. Or you could go on Instagram, type in your stud showing, you are for your. And, uh, You'll be able to follow me there. So have a good one.